Hey, Santa Grover here. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to another music tutorial video. This is really a problem solving video for when you are working with the Omnisphere Virtual Instrument Library by Spectrosonics. It's a wonderful library, but sometimes it has its little hiccups. And one of those is when you are working on your MIDI keyboard and you select an Omnisphere instrument and you press your any key on the MIDI keyboard and there's no output. And it's not true with Alchemy, for instance, with Logic or RetroSynth or any other virtual instrument library. This is just an exclusively, seemingly exclusively Omnisphere experience. And the answer to that is actually very easy to find. You can find it pretty quick on the internet, whether it's Spectrosonics, the company itself giving you the answer, you know, via their articles or any YouTuber. Uh, but what they do say is that when you have this here, the MIDI channel, all selected, that may not cover uh, what, what needs to be covered to create some MIDI output. Now, I actually don't have this problem right now, so I'm going to try to recreate the problem for you as best as I can. You can see here that uh, it is selected to all, and you can also see, or hear rather, some output. And so right now I don't have that problem. I did run into that problem a few days ago. Now. Really, if you do have that problem still, just trust me on this. Select it to channel one and you should receive some output. And as you hear with me, it's fine either way, either all or either channel one. With you, it may be where you reselect all and it doesn't work. So just stick to channel one. And so there's the answer, but that's not good enough for me. I have to dig deeper, like why? can't I have all? Like if this is a problem for me, it's like, okay, why can't I have all? You know, all means one or one through 16. So what is the deal? Now I tried to recreate this problem with the same instrument. So these two are the same instruments. Analog chimes is an instrument in Omnisphere and you can see it's the same thing. So here's track one, instrument one, MIDI channel all, uh, instrument two, a MIDI channel all and you cannot hear anything. I'm going to try to tap my MIDI keyboard. I, I kind of slammed my old MIDI keyboard. Uh, so you couldn't hear anything. So what gives? Uh, what about channel one? Oh no, nothing. So, okay, so channel one's not working. What's going on? So we'll just leave it at channel one for now. I'm going to go ahead and open Omnisphere. And I don't know if this is the real answer, the exact answer, this could be a multifaceted problem, but the answer that I did find had to do with these, um, this multi-stack feature here. I think that's called multi-stack. Uh, let's see, uh, multi, I think it's short for multi-stack. So you have eight options here, eight instruments. And you can see option one, analog chimes, two, oh, you weren't supposed to see that. <laughs> but Never fear, I'm going to show you right now the secret sauce. So multi-stack is up to eight channels of different instruments so you can create your own pads with already the pads given to you by Spectrosonics. And you can see that I sort of cheated. This is how I'm recreating the problem. I muted this. So if I do tap that, you should hear the output now. But that was because obviously channel one is selected or, or muted. Now, what about this channel two, channel three, channel four? Well, you can see that I have MIDI channel one over here. And if I do, let's say solo this, for instance, this is a different instrument, you know, for my, my pad and you can't hear anything. I'm trying to, if you can hear me slam those keys again, can't hear anything. Now, if I do uh, select channel two, MIDI channel two, Perfect. Uh, same with uh, channel three, nothing until I select channel three. And it is uh, the same with uh, church bells for channel four. I know this is a little, you, you get the point, right? <laughs> so it has to be very, very selective. If I do all in this case, and let's see if I, uh, okay, so they're all good. All right, wait a second. 
Is, is that all the channels? Is it all four instruments? Channel one, two, three, four. Well, if you could see the output here, you can, you'll notice it's just analog chimes. So, you know, this is crazy. MIDI channel all, it's obviously not all, and you, you can see that nothing is muted, nothing is soloed out. So what gives? What's the whole point if I can't be flexible with this? You actually have to go further in into this stack feature here. And once this is selected, once this is turned on, all the instruments are going to play. So you can see the output there, you know, the, the volume here. Now they're all selected. And it's true if I went back to, say, channel 3 only. wouldn't have an impact if this stack is turned on. Now once it's turned on, or rather once it's turned off, then only three is going to be the output. So it's it's a little annoying. I, I have not run into this problem with other libraries. Uh, maybe you have, but uh, so, so you, you want to be very specific with, okay, if it's just one instrument with Omnisphere, it's just channel one, for instance, then make sure it is indeed one. Now, sometimes once, I think once the stack feature here is selected, I think that cues logic to, to recognize, okay, all is fine, even if, even if it's just one instrument. And then um, going back, I'll just leave the stack on, uh, going back to analog chimes, this one, is just one. So just channel one. All is fine, one is fine. So all is fine too. But if I select it to channel two, nothing. So that could be one of many problems uh, that you might run into with Omnisphere, but it was just, I, I needed to know why channel one worked and not any other channel or why not all the channels because one would fall under the category all so anyway i hope that has helped you uh, go into this a little further and you know this helped me realize oh yeah i can make some cool pads you know with up to eight instruments so anyway that's all for me thank you so much for watching and listening and i will catch you later